everyone, welcome back to my channel. I started out this week's mixed media by drawing a tiger. They're just so beautiful and majestic and I've never drawn one before, so I thought, why not try? I loosely sketched the outline of the tiger's most basic shapes from a reference photo and usually when I'm sketching I'll just do kind of straight lines before incorporating more organic shapes. I'm usually not drawn to blues and greens so I thought I would pick those colors and challenge myself for this piece. I'm feeling a bit dreamy today, so I'm gonna paint reflecting my mood and try some new things I haven't tried before and see what happens. I kind of want to create a general shape for the background, so once I do that, I'm going in with a dark blue and using that for the stripes of the tiger. In the beginning, it can be intimidating to lay color on a white canvas, so adding water to dilute some of the colors creates a variety of shades that helps me slowly build on the vision of the piece as I go. Lavender is such a dreamy, ethereal color and it really matches how I'm feeling today, so I'm going to fill in the tiger with most of this color. If I want to fill a space with color, but I don't want it to be just a giant solid block of color, I'll usually use fluid acrylics or high flow acrylics to achieve that because they're so watery at the same time that you can do a lot with them. I'm starting to want more and more color on this canvas as I go, so I'm grabbing whatever paint I feel called to and letting this piece take its own course. I've also noticed that touching the paint and moving it around with my fingers really helps me get more in touch with myself and what I'm doing. I recently bought this fluorescent pink color and I normally would never go for a neon color but I really wanted to experiment and challenge myself so we'll see how this pink gets used. Since adding so much water muddied the outline of the tiger, I think right here is a good time to go back and re-outline the tiger with my brush pen and see how it's looking with the rest of the piece. Every time I go in with a black pen, I always immediately after go in with my white pen to complement what I just did with some lighter contrasting colors. Since I'm really enjoying the fun of the fluorescent pink, I'm bringing this bright green back into the tiger as well. So I actually took the cap of my paint tube and dipped it in white to stamp some circles here. You can use so many household objects to make art with and that is part of the fun and uniqueness of art. Now I'm filling in this blue space with a couple basic stars.
Copper is my glitter paint of choice this week. I've been using the back of a pencil to spread some paint around throughout this piece and that way I'm leaving as much of it on the canvas as possible. To spread the paint around, I'm adding the magical water element and dabbing the excess with a cloth. This piece does remind me of a dream because everything blurs together and there is so much happening, yet I'm still enjoying the expression of it and love that it feels free. Everything we create externally is always expressing one facet of ourselves or another, and there are so many different versions and archetypes that live within us, and when we surprise ourselves through creating without a plan, we get to explore those inner worlds by pouring them out into the physical. Unfortunately, my camera was out of focus, so I couldn't capture the next recording, but I just added some more purple and blue to the piece. I then ripped out a little quote from a book and now I'm adding glue and pasting it down. This piece is so colorful, I feel like I could keep going, but I do feel like I was able to express my mood and therefore I am feeling complete. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if there's something you want to see me paint. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to catch next week's video.